it's been quite a while since I have posted a voice feminization video and I was thinking it's due time I post one. So today we are going to be talking about vocal registers and most specifically mixed voice. Now before we can get into the mixed voice we are going to talk about the four primary vocal registers. Okay now there are more but these are the only four that we're going to focus on today. Okay and I'm going to structure the structure this just like I structure my lessons. All right, so first things first, what the heck is the vocal register? Now, many of you know the term, may not know the term vocal register, but you may know the terms falsetto, chest voice. These are considered vocal registers. Now, let's break that down. So we have terms for, you know, what are known as vocal registers, but like, what is a vocal register? What did, you know, can you define what that is? Now, a vocal register is a span of frequencies in the human voice produced by a distinct vibratory configuration of the vocal folds. A span of frequencies in the voice produced by a distinct vibratory configuration of the vocal folds. Now, the vocal folds are the exact same thing as the vocal cords, okay? So in simple terms, a vocal register is like a gear on a stick shift car, okay? So way back in the day, cars used to not always be automatic for, this is for my, my younger viewers, um, and it used to have to switch this thing. It was like a stick that you have to literally shift to change how fast your car would go. And that is pretty much what a vocal register is. It's um, a specific gear, right? It allows for specific sounds, specific pitches. Um, you can do a lot within a vocal register. Okay, so let's talk about the four primary ones. Now, the first vocal register we have is known as chest voice, which, as many of you know, sounds like a guy voice, right? This is uh, probably, yeah, kind of the, the most stereoty stereotypical version of chest voice. Now, as not many people do know this, um, especially people who will not be singers or who are not singers, chest voice is not limited to down low, meaning that you can take chest voice, oh, and you can drag it up significantly higher, right? So, that would be your first vocal register. Now, your second vocal register would be head voice. And that would sound something like that, okay? So head voice and falsetto are pretty much the same thing. Falsetto is just a breathier version of head voice. If you notice when I vocalize this note, it's got a little bit more girth, right? It's not super breathy. Um, I'm not a huge fan of falsetto, um, but yeah, actually in my upcoming single, um, I use falsetto a little bit. Very brief periods, but yes, I do. So if y'all want to check that out, link will be down below. But, um, so you have head voice and chest voice so far. Those are your first two vocal registers. So chest voice, uh... head voice. Now we get to talk about the mixed voice. Now mixed voice is actually split up into two separate vocal registers. The first vocal register you need to know about is known as mixed voice one. Now what is mixed voice one? Well, mixed voice one in simple terms is chest voice that is taken on attributes of head voice. Now this does not mean chest voice and head voice combined but rather chest voice that starts to look and behave similarly to head voice, okay? So that is gonna sound something like this. Ah, ah, okay, that would be mixed voice one, chest voice that is taken on attributes of head voice. So it doesn't exactly- Sound like chest voice. Doesn't exactly sound like head voice either. Okay, it sounds 
like something in between, but it's not. It's just chest voice that starts to look and behave like head voice. And when it does that, it becomes its own separate entity, right? It becomes mixed voice one, okay? Now, the next vocal register we need to talk about is mixed voice two. Now, some of you may guess if the definition of mixed voice one is chest voice that is taken on attributes of head voice, what can mixed voice two be? Exactly, the inverse head voice that has taken on attributes of chest voice. And that will sound something like this. Ah, ah, ah. Okay, pretty full sound. That would be mixed voice too, okay? Now, why don't we break this down further? Okay, so we're, we've talked about vocal registers, but like, how do you get into these vocal registers? Well, in order to do that, we need to understand what a vocal mechanism is. Okay, so in your voice, you have what are known as vocal mechanisms, and these are ways of categorizing similarly functioning vocal registers. Okay, so mechanism one, it's kind of like uh, if the vocal registers are gears on a stick shift car, a mechanism would be the car itself. So a vocal mechanism would be the car itself. Now, the vocal mechanism is really the way to group, um, is a, a way to kind of identify how a sound is, how it's produced. So mechanism one is everything in the voice before it flips. Now, for those of you who have never experimented with your voice, why not try that? Do uh, from the lowest note you can to the highest note, you're gonna notice that there is a break. Uh... Right? Uh, uh. There it is. That would be the breaking point, right? So everything before that breaking point is mechanism one. Now, vocal mechanism one, or laryngeal vibratory mechanism one, if you want to be scientific about it, um, is everything in the voice before it flips. So, oh! That's all mechanism one. Oh! Okay? Now, mechanism one is, is pretty versatile, but it can get harder to stay in mechanism one as you go up higher, right? So this is where vocal mechanism two comes in. Now, vocal mechanism two is contains the vocal registers, head voice, and mixed voice two. Head voice and mixed voice two, okay? So that is everything in the voice after it flips. Everything in the voice after it has flipped. Okay, so uh, 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 that's all mechanism one. Uh, okay, now mechanism two would be voice and mixed voice too, okay? So mechanism two is everything in the voice after it's flipped. And mechanism one is everything in the voice before it's flipped. Now we're gonna get back to the mixes. So you'll notice that mechanism two contains head voice and mixed voice two, those two vocal registers. Now mechanism one contains chest voice and mixed voice one. So we already know that mixed voice one and mixed voice two functionally feel different. And that's because they literally require different coordinations of the vocal folds to produce those sounds. So like mix two feels, it starts off as like a falsetto, like a and then we add some compression. So it starts off really light in a falsetto and then we learn how to compress it more. This is something that I use in my speaking every single day. The reason I have such a big range is because I'm constantly going in between mix one and mix two. I'm con, con, do you hear that's mix two? 
constantly. So come mix two, tently mix one. So I'm going between both coordinations and they actually feel pretty different, but you won't hear it. You won't hear a difference, especially, you know, when somebody's talking. So this is what differentiates the nap thumb voice method from other methods out there is instead of fighting falsetto, we learn to utilize it selectively, of course, and we learn to have it so it matches mechanism one, right? Full voice. So if you listen, that's a big sound, right? Okay. Now that is basically the the gist of what mixed voice two is. Now mixed voice one. Ah, ah, sounds like that. Ah, okay? So mixed voice one again is before the voice has flipped, and that one's a little bit more difficult, especially if you're dragging it up super high. And this is something I did in my debut single, which the link will be down below. Please check it out leave some feedback. Uh, it's honestly, it's my, my biggest accomplishment in my life, in my personal opinion. But mixed voice one allows for uh, the basis of a female voice is mixed voice one. Now when you inflect, when you go up higher, that's where you would access mixed voice two. But most of mixed voice, excuse me, most of the female voice is mixed voice one, okay? Now, I'm not gonna give you guys exactly um, a full demonstration how to do it, but this is more of kind of an educational lesson on what we would be using, mixed voice one and mixed voice two, in our lessons if you, you know, would be uh, learning how to feminize your voice, right? Everyone who has successfully feminized their voice uses a mix, whether it's mix one or mix two. So one last thing I do want to say is if you somehow have access to mix two, that's not what you speak in. That's only what you go to inflect in higher notes. Like, Oh my God, God, Oh my God, God. That high note would be mixed too, but like your bass speaking voice shouldn't sound like this. Like if you were talking in mixed too, it'd probably sound a little something like this. So even even if you like really try to compress it a lot to try to make it sound as normal as possible, it's still not really gonna sound very normal. Compared to mechanism one, mix one, which sounds much more standard for speaking. So that is your free voice feminization lesson of 2020, I guess. I'm sure there will be more, but I love you guys. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you later.